Naruto is nothing short of greatness. This man, ever since his release on the Japanese version of the game, has received insane amounts of popularity, people praising this unit, and everyone knows on the Japanese version at least how broken he is. And with his release coming very soon on the global version of the game, you can just imagine what type of effect that's gonna have on people. People have been saving for this man, people have been skipping banners, everybody is wanting that Haruto. But why is he so special? Why is he so broken? What's the deal with him? Well, I hope to answer that in this video, maybe give you some insight whether or not you should be going for this specific unit. Of course, at the time of me making this video, I have no idea what the banner or how the future banners will be handled after Haruto. I'm actually making this video on August 5th, and I don't know when this video is going to come out. It could come out in a week, it could come out in two weeks, could come out in a month. So we'll just have to wait and see what the future holds. Now, real quick before we get into this breakdown, I have done these kind of videos before with a bunch of other units. Mainly, the one that I started this with was Luan. If you were ever interested in a very specific unit that you found really hype, or that you thought the community was really hyping up, more than likely I've made a video specifically talking about that one unit before. So if you ever want to check out any of those, go to my channel, search them up, or I'll be having cards pop up on screen of the previous iterations to this series, or mini-series, whatever you want to call it. Another thing too, before we get started, if you guys like the video, Make sure you hit that like button if you guys want to stick around for more Grand Summoners content, other gacha gaming content, and other gacha gaming news. Of course, click that subscribe button. We're going to be expanding very soon into other gacha games, so I can't actually wait to take that step once I find those other gacha games that I'm extremely interested in. Now, without further ado, let's get into it. Haruto, 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 Haruto. I feel like the amount of times that I've seen his name on discords, on reddit threads, on youtube channels, I feel like everyone by now would know this guy's name. Ever since this man has been out, or ever since the ninja saga ended I want to say, or even Cross the blaze, global players have been itching for that next unit, the next meta breaker, the next be all end all type of unit. And Haruto is to an extent, he is that. But what exactly does Haruto do for people who don't know? Maybe you just seen his artwork before. Maybe you just seen a glimpse of his kit. You don't actually understand everything that Haruto is doing. So let's explain that. Haruto is an earth support unit, not an earth only support unit like Sakura Miku, but an earth unit that's a support unit. His slots are 5 star magic, 5 star support, and 4 star heal. His skill is a 1500% earth damage magic for 5 seconds to reduce the enemy's accuracy by 10%. His art is an 11,000% earth damage magic for 20 seconds to increase allies' arts damage by 50% and reduce earth resistance by 30%. His true art is 36,000% earth damage magic. 13 seconds, you heal allies' HP by 6% per second, by the way, and increase allies' arts by 5 per second. For human allies, you increase their arts by 7 per second instead this unit is type b archgen however ooh, you always hate to see that his abilities though on every use of his true art permanently increase ally stats by 10 percent to a maximum of 30 percent does not stack with abilities of the same name when haruto joins the battle for the second party in cross battle he gains the change buff for same race regardless of the unit he replaced and he increased allies earth damage by 30 percent does not stack with abilities of the same name and then why not because we never covered it before let's talk about his true weapon so haruto's true weapon is a five star magic seven thousand percent earth damage magic for 10 seconds you increase own damage by 40 percent and you reduce earth resist by 35 percent when created by haruto you increase stats by 10 percent and art gauge by two per second does not stack with abilities of the same name and you increase magic damage by 10 percent so if you have his true weapon on plus you pop his art at the same time that means you're getting a massive 65 percent earth resist down on an enemy and then not only just that if you factor in his passive where he is increasing all ally stats by 10 percent up to a maximum of 30 percent harto is going to have a 40 percent stat increase alone just by himself when you factor in of course his passive plus his passive from his true weapon i definitely recommend picking this up if you are planning on going for harto because of that passive arch gen but that's his kit it may not sound that broken it on paper but it kind of is it kind of is Arto is always referred to as the gs version of mako the reason for that is because their buffs are pretty similar mako is able to increase allies arch damage Arto is able to increase allies arch damage both of them heal except I think Haruto's heal would be a little bit stronger since it is actually percentage based and not just like a flat number so it can scale with whoever it's healing. And of course that heal is going to get stronger based on his passive that increases all ally stats. 
and they both are Jin, so they're very similar in terms of their units. And a lot of people will just straight up tell you that if you don't have Mako, you summon Haruto. But do you still get a benefit for getting Haruto if you have Mako? And my entire answer to that would actually be yes. No matter who you are, Haruto is a fantastic unit. This unit is doing so much for your team. He has arts damage, an insanely good damage buff for your team. It's not like the best damage buff in the game, but if you're increasing arts damage, it's always better than not increasing it. Also reducing the enemy's earth resist by 30% is decent if you're using a mostly earth team but if you're not then he'll benefit from it and he'll hit decently hard and even with that too he does have his amazing true art which is able to give everybody five art gauge or if they're human you're getting seven do you know who else gives seven art gauge per second to her team i shouldn't even have to say her name but it's juno juno also gives her allies seven art gauge per second and we all know how crazy archgen is whenever you have juno on the team of course she has an unconditional seven arts to everybody compared to haruto but even with that haruto is still able to reach insanely high archgen numbers really the main problem with haruto is just he's type b which is extremely unfortunate because that just means that you can't run him alongside other type B arch shinners. A lot of people get confused whenever I say that, meaning that they just can't be put on a team. What I mean is if you run two type B arch shinners on the same team, let's say for example, Haruto and Juno, if you pop both of their true arts at the same time, you would think that you would get two arch shin buffs, but you wouldn't. You would get only one arch shin buff, which would more likely be Juno's because Juno's would be better overall, I think. I, I don't know exactly how how the coding works for that but you see what i mean you could still technically use them on team together but only one arch in effect would actually take effect on that said team but that's the only negative there is man everything else about haruto is so good what else would you want from a supporting unit he can help out any team that he wants to help out he could be used as a mono earth supporter if you want him to but he's not limited to that he has options able to help out other teammates and this guy is needed for some of the hardest content in the game. He's definitely not underwhelming by any means. I think people who are not really into support units will look at Harto and be like, yeah, I don't really like this unit. He's not really doing insane damage or anything, but maybe just looking at it on paper, of course, is not enough to justify how strong this unit really is. You have to put him into practice, and then once you do, you can see how OP he actually is. But is he better than Mako, though? uh i don't really think you can compare them too much apart from them just having similar buffs and everything them both being supports and arch generous, i kind of feel like that harto and mako are both really good just at what they do i wouldn't say either one is better than necessarily the other but if i really had to pick i would still say mako is technically better just because she has the better archgen grouping type since she can be used alongside anybody you never have to worry about archgen types with mako compared to of course haruto where he is in the biggest archgen grouping type which is of course type b very very unfortunate but is he as broken as everybody says he is? Is he the god tier unit? Is he going to be SS tier on tier list and stuff? To be honest, in depth wise, I would say he could be in there. But I see a lot of people more than likely, or what I'm seeing, is probably he's going to be in the S plus tier. He may not make it in the same tier as Mako, but he may be the tier below. We'll have to wait and see exactly how Sweats and all the freaks rate him. But personally, I don't know if I would put him in the same tier. Because I myself also need to see how crazy and how meta breaking he is in the hardest content in the game to really rate him so high let me just say if you need a support unit there's no reason for you not to summon for haruto because he is that he is an amazing support unit if you don't have mako you should summon him if you do have mako you should consider summoning him but i would say if you're lacking on supports and you've been like man dude all these guys got their makos everybody's just running around with makos well guess what it's finally your time to shine because haruto's coming and he's the gs version of mako but that is haruto's video ladies and gentlemen tell me down below if this video has influenced you in summoning or not as for myself am i going for haruto yeah i am i have been wanting this unit for a while but i don't know if i want him as much as his counterpart which is coming later on which he will also get his own video another thing that i would like to add though before we end this 
is that support units always last longer than damage dealers. Let me just mention that as well. Mako has, of course, got buffed a ton and became so broken because they made her a luck unit, but also Mako has stood the test of time. Even without her receiving her buffs, she still would have been one of the top units in the game. If they would have never brought back Kill a Kill, Mako would still be getting used. So if you're thinking about skipping Haruto because he's not doing the big damage, you may want to reconsider because damage dealers are always replaceable. And that's for any gacha game, by the way, not just Grand Summoners. But guys, thank you all again for coming out. It's been your boy OP. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more. If you're going to be summoning for Haruto whenever he finally releases, I wish you the best of luck. But guys, thank you all again. And last but not least, you guys already know, don't forget to drink water.